If you want to buy cheap and reliable Ultimate Team FIFA coins, then go to fifacoinszone.com. What is up guys, I'm Tom LFC7 and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode and we are playing against Sevilla in the Champions League. If we win, we qualify to the next round and we make sure of top spot and this will be my team. Martial, Sturridge and Suarez will play up front, new players come into the team. Ilori, Van der Heiden, Hesse Rodriguez and Jordan Henderson. And uh, sorry guys that I forgot to put music to the goals on yesterday's second episode because I was in a hurry to make that uh, video and I completely forgot to add music to the goals. So I apologize and sorry, sorry about that. I hopefully won't forget that in this episode. Let's go. Look at Sevilla Stadium. They are more than ready for us. Last season... We played here in the Champions League last 16 and we won 3 0. And also, we beat Sevilla 5 1 in the group stages this season. So, we pretty much hammered them every time we played them. Let's hope we do the same here. Go on, Sturridge. Come on, finish it, Sturridge. Finish, no. Come on, head it. Nice, nice save, Muslera. Suarez! Oh! <laughs> Suarez got him! What a finish! Sevilla had two or three really good chances to score. They failed to score and Suarez scores an absolute cracker into the top corner. Brilliant. We are one nil up. Lovely, lovely goal. Oh, what a ball. Holy, oh, what a shot. Rakitic almost scored the belter. Come on, Suarez. Oh, um, unlucky. Van der Heyden is a really tidy right back, youth academy player. And he's already getting first team opportunities because, you know, he's brilliant pace and he's very very good at crossing he's basically like a right winger Henderson yes Jordan Henderson what a picture good header that is and that seals the game what what did Henderson just fly, fly through the air and by the way guys watch the games carefully because you guys will vote player of the month and goal of the month as well and also I think I will introduce a new feature Flop of the month, like worst player of the month. So uh, let me know if that's a good idea in your opinion or not. So leave your feedback, leave your suggestions in the comments below. Let's make some substitutions now. Henderson, brilliant header. So let's make three subs. Uh, Andre Wisdom, Gary Gardner and... Uh, who is the... Has, uh, not, who is the third player? Let's see. Uh, Suso coming on and this will be my lineup. I put Shakiri up front. Hopefully he can bang in some goals. Oh. 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 Shakiri. No. Oh, Muslera. Huge save. Suso. Damn it. Unlucky. No, no, you shouldn't have done that. Oh, no. Oh, what a tackle! Van der Heyden, the youth academy player. Are you serious? What a tackle! Get in, guys. We are through to the next round of the Champions League. Come on. Huge win. This was a vital game and I knew that the young players can do me favors, do me a job. Ilori, Van der Heyden, Wisdom all played really well, but I think Matt Muslera made some very, very important saves. 
and we deserve this victory. Maybe Sevilla deserved the goal because they had some chances, but we defended really, really well. Let's see the Champions League group stage results now. So now it's time to look at the Champions League results. Barcelona, Milan are through to the next round in Group A and uh, we pretty much won our group. So the last game is totally meaningless. I will field a reserve side and uh, even uh, I think even uh, the reserve side I think will beat FC Copenhagen in the last game. So we had a brilliant Champions League campaign so far. Juventus and Dortmund got through and I, I'm glad I won the, uh, my group because uh, most of the big teams finished first in their group as you can see. And oh my days, what a story that would be if Man United got knocked out by Gank, uh, that would be amazing. But I still fancy Man United to go through and Celtic, amazingly Celtic are looking likely to go through but they still need to win their last game and buy and won their group. So this is why it was vital to finish, finish top of my group. And now let's turn our attention to the Premier League. We are playing West Ham at home, Chelsea are playing Wigan at home, so I expect them to win Stoke. The Man United are travelling to Stoke, so they might drop points and they might drop further down the table because it's really tight. There are three teams on 29 points, as you can see, in third place. And uh, in the next episode I will do uh, Goal of the Month and Player of the Month for November so already you can let me know who should win player of the month and maybe who was flop of the month in November who did the worst in my team and also who was the best player of the month um, after the next episode you guys will decide because the next episode will contain the Swansea and the Aston Villa games and also I will do a goal of the month competition and now let's go and play West Ham at Anfield I feel my strongest possible lineup. I only replace Sako with Agger. I thought let's give Agger a chance to showcase his talents. He's going down rapidly. He's 81 rated now, but I still expect Agger to do a very, very good job. And now let's try and smash West Ham at Anfield. This is Anfield, guys. And we are hosting West Ham United. It's an absolute must win game. We must beat teams like West Ham at home. If we want to win the title, we are two points behind Chelsea and they have a better goal difference, so it's vital to win and win big. Let's go! Sturridge? Oh my god! How did he save that? Come on, Martial! Wow! That's a nice pass, a headed pass to a teammate. Royce, there we go, finally, he should have scored in the previous attack, but now he finally finishes the move up brilliantly, Marco Royce is such a deadly finisher, he has been one of the bargains of the century, he, we only played, paid 12 million pounds for him and he scored 20 plus goals last season, this season from the wing he hasn't been scoring that many, but he still can be relied upon. And he could be an heir to Luis Suarez later. Oh my word, West Ham! Andy Carroll almost comes back to haunt his old club. No, oh, go on, go on Montoya, look at him go. Look at him. Look at him go. And Suarez is there. 2 0. Great, great counter attack, Montoya. Montoya just turned on the Jets on the wing, whipped in a brilliant cross for Luis Suarez to head it in, 2-0. Oh my word, West Ham with another chance they miss, thankfully. So, uh, Malanda, Montoya, oh, the, oh he shaves the post, Montoya so unlucky. Look at this shot, that was so unlucky, it shaves the on outside of the post. Let's make three subs, uh, Hesse, Correa and Gardner coming on. We are absolutely battering West Ham in the second half, keeping the ball brilliantly, passing it around. Gary 
Suarez. Yes, 3 nil. Exactly what our dominance deserved. We absolutely outpassed, outplayed West Ham brilliantly. Sturridge lays the ball back to Suarez, who finishes it brilliantly. Suarez is now a major contender for Player of the Month, I think. But uh, I think I will do uh, that show in the next episode where I will show you goal of the goals of the month, player goal of the month contenders, and also um, who was player of the month. You will be able to vote for that in the next episode. Of course, you can vote already in this episode in the comments below. Suarez seventh goal in the league, brilliant game. Yes, guys, this is exactly how we should beat. Uh, bottom half team like West Ham convincing 3-0 victory Luis Suarez was man of the match he got two goals Royce scored as well and if you could see the chances the possession we kept the ball really well created a lot of openings and Suarez is just such a deadly finisher so these are the latest Premier League results Chelsea beat uh, wait what? Oh, sorry, yeah, here we go. So, Chelsea beat Wigan 3 0, and uh, Man United lost to Stoke. Amazing! And Newcastle, who were third before the round, won against Aston Villa 3 0. Wow, Man United, that's a huge blow to their title hopes. And Arsenal lost as well. So, just like in real life, Man United and Arsenal are struggling in this career mode as well. And uh, in the next episode, you will be able to see the League Cup quarterfinal against Swansea. So now it looks like a two-horse title race. I don't think Newcastle will be in the title race, to be honest. And that, that Man United loss against Stoke is a huge blow to their title hopes. So guys, if you enjoyed this career mode episode, make sure to leave a like. It helps me out so, so much and makes me even more motivated to bring you more and more episodes. Thanks for watching, see you later guys. Goodbye. So let's see what the side guys. Wow, on FIFA 15, I hope they will show Anfield from the area of view as well, because that's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful side. Bayern Munich have one hell of a team. So uh, let's go guys, let's try and uh, beat them at the Allianz Arena.